eventace.com is something we've been for oh, maybe a year and a bit now, um, pre-COVID, and with great timing, as I said before, right, uh, with COVID, we decided to events business. Um, slight difference, it's a marketplace, essentially. It's a, it's a platform and an app that brings uh, anybody organizing from, a, from someone looking for a paper for a funeral to people looking for a staging, um, say for a festival or something like that, catering through venues, from pub teams to PA systems, portaloos, hog roasts, Prosecco van, you name it. Um, you will find all of these suppliers on eventix.com. Hi, welcome to today's Ask Austin. Today I'm speaking to Del Cotton from Event Ace. Hi Del, how are you? Not bad, thanks Austin, not bad at all. Excellent. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what Event Ace is? Sure, okay. So it's a, it's a new concept for me, certainly. I, my background's in the events industry. Uh, I've been in the events industry for 35 years now, it's, it's all I know. Um, my, my other business rather is hireabad.co.uk. I guess people are familiar with them, maybe, maybe not, but we're a, an entertainment agency. Um, and we, we used to do an awful lot uh, in Scotland and uh, off in England as well. Obviously, COVID's um, put mothballs in that business at the moment. But eventace.com is something we've been for oh, maybe a year and a bit now, um, pre-COVID. And with great timing, as I said before, right, uh, with COVID, we decided to events business. Um, slight difference, it's a marketplace, essentially. It's a, it's a platform and an app that brings uh, anybody uh, organising from, from someone looking for a paper for a funeral to people looking for a uh, staging, um, say for a festival or something like that, catering through venues, from pub teams to PA systems, portaloos, hog roasts, Prosecco van, you name it. Um, you will find all of these suppliers on eventix.com. The idea is that what we've noticed and what I've realised over the years is it's quite hard to find um, a supply for, for your event. Um, and what people tend to do is they, they, they surf Google, like everybody else, they go on Facebook, they surf Google, they ask friends, who should, this, who should they get from that? Um, and it's a, it's a big job. So the idea behind eventace.com is to simplify the whole search and basically someone who is looking for event suppliers, it can be any kind, it can be any number of suppliers, comes on the platform and posts the job, tells us about the job, uh, where it is, when it is, and what they're looking for. Um, this system caught all the suppliers that are in that area, that are available on the date of your event, and that are interested in um, and then they will contact the organiser. So you don't have to do anything. You sit back and you wait for the suppliers to come to you. The big advantage to the organiser is it saves a lot of time, it's completely free. Um, and you are dealing then with suppliers who put their hand up and say, look, I'm interested in helping you with this, this event. Rather than having to ask someone, could you do me, could you do that? Only people, only as that are interested and actually are keen to work with you, will get in touch with you. Um, and you can then decide which, if any, do you want to work with. You can read reviews on our platform. You can browse, post your job and wait for the suppliers to come to you. Um, and we are just putting the finishing touch this week to uh, an internal message that you can either decide to be contacted by phone number, uh, by telephone, obviously, or you can ask to be messaged um, within our system um, and the suppliers will come to you. So if it's that, that's what it is. That's what it's meant to do. The reason behind it, uh, we, we feel that from an organizer's, a supplier's point of view, rather, it's very difficult as a as a who are your small to try and make a dent in the industry and to find out customers. You've got a few choices. You can pay to be in a magazine. You can go on Google AdWords and pay per click, or you can spend money on Facebook and, and in some cases an awful lot of money, which is fine if you've got the budget. Um, of course, you're throwing an awful lot of money at uh, marketing without really knowing what you're going to get back from it. So 
you add words for every time somebody clicks on your advert, whether it's you or a competitor or whether it's somebody looking for your service, you pay Google, uh, tell you how much money it is they're going to charge you and they tell you how often you've had your advert clicked. So who's, who's to ask this debut? 500 this month was with the higher band we use uh, Google AdWords. Um, we did hire a band, but now, by the way, is on eventace.com. Um, but yeah, so that's your choice. Eventace, though, um, if you're a supplier, then you'll be notified of relevant jobs. You can that say, right, am I available on that date? Interested in that job? Is it something I want to do? You know, I don't mean or, or supplying, you know, going to. If the opportunity is of interest to you, then you can decide to act the person behind the event, the person that's organizing the event, and you essentially approach them, you give them a quote, you pitch a job essentially, and if they decide that it's your business they want to use, that's from the event ace point of view, there's no commission to pay, um, and your profile, the way it works, the way event ace generates is through charging for the lead if you decide to take lead on. So we have a simple pay-as-you-go credit system and there are all kinds of incentives right now for early adopters. But actually, if the job looks of interest to you, you decide, I'll, I'll pick and get that, that job. Yeah. I'll probably through the course of this conversation, most will use positions, to, uh, phrases, it's just, that's what I am and that's my background, but you'll get the gig. And uh, if you get the gig, so oh, yours, the mission to pay to, to event in Stockholm. So that's event days. I could talk about it for hours, so you best stop me when you can. Um, that's how it works. That's the reason behind it. Say it levels the playing field. If you're, you, you, can't, you can't game event days. You can't hire up the ranks. You can't pay for a bigger advert. It's completely democratised. Uh, it's all done on merit. If you're fast, if you get back to an organiser quickly, you're competitive. If your approach is uh, is articulate and you, you you know you sell yourself well, as the great big company um, that can afford the Google AdWords campaigns, can afford the double page after in the trade magazines, um, you've as much chance of getting the business as anyone else. Even if you're brand new or very small, um, it's down to merit rather than how much money you've got in your marketing budget. That's a, that's a venti story. No, it sounds excellent. So in the past, I've used a few kind of, I'll say similar websites, so the likes of Pop Top, Bark, Bidvine. What makes you different from those those websites? What makes me is that we're niche. We're a platform, so they're all excellent. Um, Bark.com regularly um, asked us to, to put our bands on. But for me, as, a, as, a, as an entertainment agent with a background in events, and, and, and in the, it didn't seem right listing my the musicians I'm privileged to represent alongside, with the greatest respect, maybe a Cairo or a plumber or, or a, you know, a dog walker or something like that. All, all these things that have nothing to do with events. So the idea behind event is I know nothing about those other things. In fact, there's not much on anything about other than events and, and entertainment. So I thought, well, let's use all the things that I've learned. My team have learned over the 22 years we've been looking at our musician and hire a band. Um, and let's bring all the events industry together to, and under, and then people looking for any kind of supply events will find it there. They don't have to wade through plumbers and, and you know, electricians and, and that. So it's, it's events only. Um, and that means that the people involved in it are all from an events, but all involved in a band of a similar background. Um, so that's um, not unique because there are other, as I said, other platforms there. Uh, and the other thing that I'd like to point out is, uh, is we're a Scottish-based company, and right now we're focusing entirely on Scotland. Um, that is another thing that you wouldn't find any other platform of this kind, which is... Uh, based in and is working in this market. We know where the customers are. We know where they go, what they do. Um, and we're very good over the years at, uh, you know, organizing the high It's the same team, really, that are working on the event. Um, so we know about Syria and we know 
what makes event suppliers tick. I think that's, in fact, the most important thing. Yeah. Um, we are you. So I, I, I've been, I've dealt with all the challenges. Uh, the COVID one, obviously, is the big one. There was been anything like that to deal with. But I am you. Um, my company is, has the same challenges and all the same uh, risks, but opportunities. That any, so I think there's a, an element of empathy there that you from um, some of these other platforms. Excellent. And and so you've obviously had a. How, when was it you launched? Was it three or four weeks ago? Yeah, we, I think it was about six weeks ago. Now we did a soft launch. Um, we with a marketplace platform like Eventis, you, there's a chicken and egg scenario. You have to have suppliers before mm. you can go to the world and say, come and get your suppliers on Eventis.com because if there are none there, then it's pretty useless. Yeah. I started um, by bringing on the suppliers possibly across as wide a range of as we can. So uh, we have pretty much now, we, there's well over suppliers in the platform now from country, covering all kinds of categories, from from drones to florists to uh, venues, caterers, there are some musicians on there as well, um, pipers, bands, that kind of thing, DJs, there are artists too who's, who specialise in, in, in doing events, um, so there's, there's pretty much everything any event organiser could need. There are a few wee gaps. Kilt Hire, for instance, with the Kilt Hire companies at the moment. Mm -hmm. And I've got this thing in my head about Pulu's. I've always, I don't know, I've, maybe because I've got a good image for Portal's, but I've, I'm looking for a, for there's Portal Hire to get on the Event Ace platform. And of course, um, the profile and seeing the opportunities costs nothing. That's mm -hmm. uh, so there's, there's zero risk if you're a supplier and you're out there and you're looking for an, another way to, to find business. Com is zero risk that you, you can't lose. And how how do you see the platform developing over the next sort of five to ten years? What, what's what's in the plan? That's a great question. Um, we, we don't have a we we global I mean, if you only a dream, you know, a big dream. And um, we went to a lot of bother uh, and expense to get a dome um, extension. So essentially, we can take them anywhere. Um, and it's an online business, so so long as we know the local markets, then we can have success, um, you know, wherever we go. Initially, we're focusing in Scotland because we're here. Um, I know so many um, great companies in this event. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been working with so many over the years. Um, I was a I was a vows judge towards the last five so was still up and running, and it hopefully DC Thompson. Are just letting it rest just now until this comes over. Um, so I, I've, I've really feel with the, the superb quality of event suppliers that there are in this country. Uh, it's second to none. Um, as a, as a world class destination, so we have you know people coming from all all over the world here. They will be, a, um, and we also just have grown huge talent and musicians uh, and and. and in business. Um, and the, so the plan is to, to learn our, uh, our job, if you like, and to, to debug the platform and add all the new things we want to add, focusing on Scotland where we know we can deliver. And then the plan is to go city by city um, in, in Northern Ireland, we'll, in, we'll be in the Republic. We'll go into England, um, another northern invasion, if you like, we'll start in Castle, we'll start in Liverpool. Pool, Mayan, City, uh, down to Leeds, into Birmingham, and then eventually London. Um, and uh, after that, who knows? Um, we're, we're happy to go wherever we, there's a demand. And I think there's a massive demand for this kind of platform. Because although, as we said earlier, there are other marketplaces that work in a similar model, as far as I'm aware, uh, outside the UK, there are no other marketplaces that are just events related. Um, and we know that from our experience at Hire a Band that um, very often we'll send bands from the UK overseas. Um, the, you know, UK bands are very popular for obvious reasons. Mm. Um, and we know there's an awful lot of international trading goes on. Um, you know, musicians travel the world and so do events suppliers. 
Um, and people have events in Scotland and they plan them from all over the world. So the other idea is that uh, we'll be a resource for any any area. Um, that, you know, if you plan an event anywhere in the world, you should be able to find a, a good supply eventually of suppliers uh, on the event based on that. Brilliant, brilliant. So a bit of a curveball here. What's a typical day look like for you at the moment? Oh, but, um, right now it's spend a lot of well. Usually, I'm spending time with developer developer team. The platform we, we when the when we went live, we were we had what they call an MVP, a minimum viable product, and we built it to test it. Um, and obviously, when you start putting suppliers on, you you come across wee issues which you have to you have to fix. So we're spending an awful lot of time tweaking and um, polishing the edges off, and planning the next step in fact that's this week all we've been doing so i spend almost all day on calls less because of covid obviously you're you're you know you're up to face to face um our developers um are based in leith over in edinburgh they're brilliant people but they're all working from home so today i was on a, a developable thing with six of them of the of the, the, the team um from our developers company and uh, that's mainly what i do then we're we're also market, getting our marketing ready. Now that we've got a decent uh, level of suppliers, doing all our marketing, you know, at this time of year, people have got their minds on, well, obviously in COVID and on Christmas. Yeah. So getting ready, uh, traditionally in the events industry, as you know, January is when it goes boom. Um, certainly it's the two busiest marabands are when we start um, dealing with the new couple of days over Christmas or how many um, and event ace we expect to be exactly the same. So we're preparing all our marketing, we're doing our SEO, we're working on getting backlink to the platform and getting to know before the, we started recording this about networking and we're getting to know as many people as we can and, and spreading the word uh, and at the same time learning. So my, my typical day is usually on Zoom calls um, and all the things associated with launching a new business looking at STEM and, you know, preparing emails and writing copy and coming up with blog ideas. It's a typical day, right? Um, I don't know what it'll be like once um, we're up and running um, and once this COVID thing's over. I suspect it's going to be a mad boom. Yeah. Um, and I think everybody's going to be very, very, very busy. Um, but right now, it's the kind of calm the storm, so to you the start. Um, it, it, there's an advantage, a tiny advantage to COVID in that um, it's given us, taking a bit of pressure off norm crazy at this time of year with Christmas coming up and stuff like that. So I've had the time to devote to event ace and it has just been prepared to be very young um, and we've got a lot of ambition. So it's about creating a plan, as I say, yeah. all day long, just talk, 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 um, which is kind of normal for me. But um, dealing with the developer, with my team uh, back at, in the event office as well, we're all working remotely too. Brilliant. So if people want to find out more, um, you're on socials, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and obviously Event Ace website. I absolutely, eventace.com. Um, you'll find all the links there. We've got a Facebook page in as well. And LinkedIn's an interesting platform. Mm. I'm finding them getting a lot more useful now. Normally, higher band is, is generally speaking uh, B to C. Event Ace at this stage, when we're when we're onboarding as many clients we can, is B to B, um, and and LinkedIn's very good for that. Mm. And so I'm learning all the time, but I'm learning about LinkedIn how to use it more effectively. Um, my team are working really successfully on Instagram. I'm 55. I know nothing about Instagram. The carrier pigeon until fairly recently. <laughs> So Instagram is a thing I'm, I don't really want to live in it, but I'm, I'm seeing the advantages of it. Yeah. Um, so you'll find us on Instagram and all the usual social media places. Brilliant. Well, listen, Dale, thanks very much for your time. That's been great. Cheers. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me.